Hello everyone, welcome to Yoga Song. I'm Hayan. Today we have a quick yoga stretch to help you release some lower back issues, lower back pain. Also, it will help you relieve the cramps, especially period cramps. Eventually, it will help uh, improving your flexibility in your legs and hips. Oh, so many benefits you can get from this practice. So whenever you're ready, extend your right leg out. Keep the left foot toward your right inner thigh. You can move around through your right ankle one way and the other way. You can pull in and flex your toes. Just wake up your ankle, your foot. Now release your right hand down on your leg, left hand up and over for a side stretch. Inhale back up, exhale stretch a little bit deeper if it feels good. Inhale, a little longer, exhale. Two more like this. You might touch, maybe not. And pose here. Keep the left arm nice and long. Keep your left hip down on your mat. Stay for three. Do what you can to no need to force anything. One. Back to center, twist over to your left, lift your hips up, press into your left palm, lift your heart as well. Extend your right arm over your head, stay for three. If you wish, you can drop your hips down and lift again, two. Feeling the nice stretch through your hips, your front thigh, through your chest. One. Maybe your shoulder too. And release. Hips down. Now you can move your left foot a little bit to the right side. Stick your knee over your ankle best you can. Holding your left ankle with your right hand. Extend your left hand up again. Inhale. Exhale, side stretch to the right side. You might feel something in your right inner thigh. Inhale back up, hug your belly in, engage your core. Exhale for twist, I mean the stretch. Inhale, exhale. Same thing twice more. Moving with your own rhythm, no need to rush. Follow your own breath. Good. You might stay here for three. Keep the left side of the body nice and long. Two, find your own way to stretch. Do not worry about the shape. You are doing good as long as you feel something in your body. Something good. In your time, slowly come up. Now, take your left foot to the right inner thigh once more. Keep the spine nice and long. Inhale here. Exhale, twist to the right side. Now you can walk your hands toward your right foot. You might hold your leg or ankle, maybe foot. Lengthen through your left side of body. Chest toward your thigh. Maybe you can drop your head down. Stay for three. There's no right and wrong. Two, just feel how you feel. One. Slowly back up. Good. Now bend your right knee. Take your right foot out to the side. Extend your arms up. It looks like a zigzag shape. As you exhale, twist over to the right side. Look over your right shoulder. Hug your belly in. Twist as deep as it feels right for you. Stay for three. Two, one, back to center, directly twist over to the left. You might lift your right hip up, stay for three, two, hug your belly in, one, relax your head and neck, inhale back to center, 
One more exercise. Extend your left leg out, keeping both knees wide, best you can, as much as you can. Inhale, extend your arms up. As you exhale, hinge from your hips, hands down, keeping your hips back, chest down, as far as it feels right. Stay for three. Allow yourself to be seen. Two, to be heard. One, to be fully understood as it is. On next inhale, walk your hands in. You're gonna switch side. Take your right foot toward your left inner thigh. Do the same thing, exactly the same thing on your left side. Left hand down, right hand up and over, side stretch. Inhale, come up. Exhale. Breathe at your own rhythm, no rush. You can do more if you want. You can pause this video. You can stay, stretch more as much as needed. I'm gonna take one more. A little pose here. Keep the right arm nice and long. You can hold your foot or without holding, just feel your body as it is. One more big breath. Inhale, slowly come up, twist over to the right, press in your left foot, lift your hips up, lengthen through your body, open up the chest. You can stay for three breaths or take your hips down and lift. Stay for two. And release your hips down. Good. Take your right foot toward your right hip, stacking your knee over your ankle. Left hand find your right ankle. Extend your right hand up and over. You can stay or you can move. Find some movement in your stretch if you feel bored. Or if you want to just stay calm, why not? You can just stay where you want to be. Three more breaths. Your shape of this pose can be different from mine. Totally cool. Be generous to your body, as always. Stay wherever you are. Three, two, keep your chest lifted. One, Slowly in your time, come up. Ooh, it was quite a big stretch for my right side. From here, right foot toward your left inner thigh again. Okay. Relax your shoulders, turning your body to the left. And you can just simply walk your hands toward your left foot. Doesn't matter how close you can get into the pose. Inhale, exhale. You can move or stay, but don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to observe your body with love and respect. You might feel something different from the first side. We all have a different strength and flexibility in both sides of hips and legs. Let's honor and respect our body as it is. All right, once you feel you had enough, slowly back up, bend your left knee, left foot out on your left side. Good. Inhale, extend your arms up. Exhale, twist over to the left. Hug your belly in, stay for three. You might look over your left shoulder, feeling the nice stretch in your right side of neck. 
One more breath. Inhale back to center, twist over to the right. Feeling a nice stretch in your hips and lower back. You can press your right knee with your left palm if it feels good. And slowly back to center. Good. Now you can extend your right leg out. Open your feet a little bit wider. As wide as you wish. Inhale or as wide as your body allows. Okay. Be kind. Be generous yourself. Inhale. As you exhale, walk your hands forward. Keeping right leg, your right leg nice and straight. Find your optimal, not your maximum. You always find the your limit, the edge where you can breathe, where you can observe and respect yourself. Say for two. Stay for one. Next inhale lifts you up. Ooh. <laughs> Release your both feet. Join your feet together, knees apart. Hopefully you feel good after this practice. Knees out, heels a little bit close, your hips. You can take your hands over your knees. Encourage your knees, open wide. Down, down, best you can. No need to first. Inhale. Exhale, chest forward and down. Breathe in. One more. Breathe out. You can stay where you are or you can take your chest a little bit down as you extend your arms out. You might choose to stay more or release. Find your comfortable seated. How do you feel? Oops, I think I forget one stretch. Almost forgot side split because I've got so many requests from the followers Instagram, here, the YouTube channel. So if you feel stiff in your legs, this is go to stretch. Do this every day, but not just directly to this pose. You need some warm up before going to that deep stretch, okay? So using this video, try to move and stretch your body on a regular basis and see how it works, okay? Walk your feet wider, keep the spine nice and long. Inhale, exhale, fold. This is me, sometimes I forget. Scrub, accept myself as I am. Hopefully you do the same thing. Chest down, or you can keep the spine nice and long. Upright spine, do not worry about the shape of this pose. Just feel the nice stretch through your inner thighs and groins. Stay for three, be kind and be patient in your body. Two, one. And release. Great job. Woo, shake it out. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Hope to see you soon on the mat. Take good care. Namaste.